Well, let's take this outside, see how it does in the wilderness. Hello, everyone. This is Charles Bridgetech with another flashlight review, this time from March. Now, this here is their C8 thrower. Comes in this box. Now, the one here that I have has the SST40. Now, this here just comes in this box. I was sent this by Banggood.com. They wanted me to test and review this light. Let's wait no further. Let's open it up and see what's in. Now, I did do some preliminary tests on this light, and the results were pretty good. Now, according to the website, this can run on a 21700 cell or an 18650. Now, I tried five or six different 21700 cells. They will not fit in this light. But I did find a battery that will fit in this. Not only the 18650, but you can fit the 20700 cell in this to help you get that longer runtime. And I'll bring that out later in the video. There it is. Does come with a lanyard. Doesn't come with any kind of literature or manual or anything like that. Real budget friendly on this. A lot of heat sinking here. Nice steel bezel on here. It's got a little bit of strike action on there. Knurling here on the barrel. Now you can table stand this if you wish. kind of a flat finish nice size style and design on this is nice Now the machining and finish on this is nice. Feels smooth, no sharp edges. So that's nice. Tail clicky. Alright, so now let's go ahead and take a look here at the deep smooth reflector. This is running the luminous SST40 LED. Alright, let's go ahead and take this completely apart. I'll show you the insides. It's got well greased threads on there. Spring on the tail. Show you the head of the light. There's a spring on the head. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this back together and 
I'll bring out the battery that I'm going to be using in this test. Now this one here can run on 18650 or the 21700 cell. Now I tried them, they don't fit in here. The cell that fits in here is a 20700 cell, which I have quite a few of these. These are a Sanyo cell. It's going to be a 10 amp cell. There's going to be plenty of power to run this light and it fits in there nice. 18650 will have a lot of movement in there but no worries it's not a big issue. Now let's go through the UI. Of course we're going to activate the light just like that. Half pressing to go through those light outputs. Three levels. Show you there. Now I did a lux meter testing on this. It's almost 2,000 lumens. So not bad light output. Intense beam actually. See really nice sharp cutoff. See there. Nice centralized hot spot. A lot of bleeding around the edges of that hot spot very nice detailed and intense beam that should look really good out there and you have press you can do full presses if you want but I like doing the half press a lot easier okay so now we're gonna go to the special mode you're just gonna double half press the tail clicky to get strobe and that is a constant rate on the flash and that is distracting half press that goes back to the last light output that you had it on turn it off turn it back on does have memory mode really simple and easy to use on the UI like the fact that you can run the bigger cell or the 18650 21700 cell will not fit in this light and I will let Banggood know that as well but the 20700 cell fits as you can see so let's wait no further let's take this outside see how it does in the wilderness we are out here in the darkness with the March C8 so let's see how it does. Water spout, 35 feet from where I'm standing. And it is making it across the park. Wow, on the lowest level. Now my measurements were almost 2000 lumens on the highest output on this light. So that's pretty impressive. making that tree 238 feet and this tree is 138 feet this is the famous tree of life and it is making a school there even with their lights on pretty impressive all right let's go to the next level see how it does bam <laughs> bam, bam, bam. That's. Uh, there's the first palm tree that's in the school courtyard there, and that's across the street there. It's got some really good light output. Now, it does have a little bit of a halo there around the out, outer edge past the spill making those trees way out there. Now I've got all my distances posted on my channel. I did a little video for you guys and I also post them in my Facebook group in the announcements so you can easily find them whenever you need to 
verify distances. First playground, usually making that now. Second one there, making that one as well. Tree line, fence line. Really nice tight beam on this actually. All right, let's go to the next level. A little bit of a jump there. Not a huge jump. Definitely noticeable in the long range there, as you can see. First palm tree, second one across the street. Do a before and after here. Damn, look at that. Impressive for the price that you'll pay for this. Especially the lumen output. Now, definitely want to use a 20700 cell. As I stated before, that this will not run a 21700 cell. Battery's too big. Tree line, fence line, beam profile here up and down, and that is impressive. Hope you enjoyed those night shots. Okay, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed those night shots. Impressive performance, especially from a flashlight that I've never heard of, March. But this C8 is definitely impressive. Performance build quality is very nice. I'm not seeing any issues. Also being able to run a little bit bigger cell in there. You can get the bigger 20700 cell as far as milliamps are concerned. I'll give you a little bit more run time. But these Sanyo cells have done me well throughout the years. So I just want to thank again Banggood for sending me this budget-friendly flashlight to review. Now, if this is something you are interested in getting, I'm featuring these in my store. I have two stores now. You can see the links down in the description below. Visit both of them. You'll be able to find this light in there, and I'll help you along with that with a discount code to save you up to 30% off on certain flashlights. And that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share, like, and subscribe. That way I can bring more of these lights from March to you in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care.